I'm a big believer in diversity, both diversity of places we can impact and diversity of places from which we receive impact. In 2013, MIT Media Lab Director Joey Ito started up the Director's Fellows Program, connecting the innovation and creativity of the MIT Media Lab with a diverse cohort of people from all over the world. Joey's vision was to expand the reach, impact and diversity of the Media Lab, employing cutting-edge technology, ideas and innovation to tackle unique challenges and push forward the boundaries of research. This place is like a buffet of holographic displays, motion capture cameras, artificial intelligence, control theory. There's so much things to explore and so many ways to possibly collaborate. We can use technology to entertain, we can use technology to educate, we can use technology to open up doors. Directors Fellows are offered a two-year honorary affiliation with the MIT Media Lab. This opens links to meet and connect with Media Lab faculty and students both on and off-site. The Fellows pursue collaborative projects to deploy Media Lab innovation, tackling real-world problems and interfacing with real-world opportunities to expand their learning and creativity. It's spreading that. It's only open if it's opened up beyond these walls. Many factors influence the way Fellows are selected, including location, demographics, area of expertise, the balance with the rest of the cohort and an individual's potential for impact. What the Directors Fellows share and what bonds them together is how different they are from each other. Current Directors Fellows include Passion Murray, famous for spotlighting the importance of composting through a commercial for Ford automobiles. Some people might think we're nuts. Whatever. Because we're crazy entrepreneurs trying to make the world better. Technology can be a conduit to bring all of these different sustainable projects together. Pakistani women's rights advocate and entrepreneur Khalid Abrohi, the celebrated science fiction film director J.J. Abrams, and ocean explorer Katie Croft Bell. Each fellow has a unique offering to the world and engages differently with the lab based on a mixture of opportunity and serendipity. This is why I love the fellows program. These guys are on point. The program has already spawned a number of exciting and successful projects out in the field. In May 2014, a group of eight Media Lab students and two faculty members joined the fellows on a trip to Nairobi, Kenya, to deploy an early prototype of a sound and motion sensor in a game reserve, allowing rangers to monitor animal movement and detect threats from poachers. Animals are our pride and heritage in Kenya. The fact that there's poaching in our country is having a big impact. Also in Nairobi, the Media Lab students, faculty and fellows collaborated to introduce digital design and robotic measurement tools to road test the development and local low-cost production of prosthetic sockets for limbs. We can use cell phones to create 3D images and 3D print prosthetic sockets. But the most exciting part has been watching students from Kenya learn the software and the hope is that in the future we are able to have them continue doing this uh, independent of people from the media lab, independent of external agents. In October 2014, Media Lab student Greg Borenstein and faculty member Kevin Slavin teamed up with Directors Fellow and Chess Grandmaster Maurice Ashley at the Millionaire Chess Open in Las Vegas, deploying a unique algorithm that uses predictive technology, visualization, and interface design to make chess commentary accessible to a wider audience. The computational math that helps us to guess percentages, to break down the styles of players, that's been really interesting because it absolutely helps to tell the story better. Most recently, in March 2015, the Media Lab took game designer Colleen Macklin and Media Lab alumnus synthetic biologist David Kong to South by Southwest, along with students from both the Media Lab and Parsons, to try out a community game that simultaneously forges conversations between strangers and teaches players about the human microbiome. Now I'm trying to find someone who loves cheese or who's done a cleanse in the past year. We're two very different people. No, never done a juice cleanse. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Okay, um, so I'm recruiting you. Part of our role is really trying to demystify biology. A game is a really great way to do that. I'm rooting for mouth microculture. The energy and enthusiasm of the fellows, together with the support of faculty, staff and students, has already provided tangible evidence of the wisdom of Joey's vision. The Media Lab has developed a powerful program 
for which there are high expectations of continuing and increasing success.